First, remove the wheel using an impact driver with a 15mm socket attachment. A wrench can also be used, but you may find it difficult to crack the thread locking adhesive. Remove the cover plate using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver or a hand drill with the appropriate bit. Next, the encoder and the axle must be removed. Locate the two set screws outside of the encoder cavity and remove them with a 1 8 of an inch hex driver. Then remove the two set screws on the inside of the cavity with the same driver. Remove the two set screws in the encoder sleeve using a 1.5mm hex driver. Using a hand drill or number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws fastening the encoder plate to the base of the encoder cavity. Lastly, locate the P-clip holding the encoder cable and remove the screw. Slide out the axle from the flange bearings and remove the encoder. With a number 1 Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws fastening the encoder to the support plate. Make sure the encoder cavity is clean and free from any plastic or metal debris before installing the new encoder. Apply a drop of blue Loctite or any other compatible thread locking adhesive to each of the four threads of your replacement encoder. Align the encoder to the support plate so that the cable exits towards the bottom left corner. First, flip it over and loosely fit all four screws. Then carefully tighten the screws in a cross pattern, making sure to avoid any stripping. A cross pattern is essential to properly align the encoder to the support plate. Notice how the encoder is firmly joined to the support plate without any spaces or gaps. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean out any Loctite that may have spilled out. Now place the encoder in the cavity. Notice the four dimples in the axle. Slide it into the flange bearings and the encoder sleeve. Align the two dimples with the two threads in the flange bearing outside of the encoder cavity. Apply a drop of blue Loctite to each of the two set screws and fasten them. Do the same for the flange bearing inside of the cavity.
Align the encoder sleeve so that a set screw thread sits above the flattened part of the axle protrusion. Push the encoder flat against the axle and fasten the two set screws with a dropped blue Loctite. Screw the encoder support plate into the base of the encoder cavity in a cross pattern. Place the P-clip onto the encoder cable and screw it into the small cavity directly adjacent to the encoder cavity. Place the cover plate back on and fasten the four screws in a cross pattern. Slide the wheel onto the axle such that the tapered end of the plug is flat against the flange bearing and the solid flat end is facing you. Apply red Loctite to the last three or four threads of the axle screw and fasten it tightly using the impact driver.